Morning, kiddos. Okay, so today we're going to work on verbs. Um, we're going to do four parts of the grammar workbook. You're going to get a sheet of paper. You're going to fold it in half, top to bottom, so hamburger style. And then um, you're going to do four different sections. So I'll talk to you about that in class. But let's go over how to do these. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify transitive verbs and direct objects. Direct objects we haven't got to yet. We will eventually, but um, they're nouns that take the action of a transitive verb. A transitive verb has to have a direct object. There's intransitive verbs that don't have a direct object. So we're going to do one through five. Let's do number one together. Um, I'm going to write these on the board when I do them with you in class. But this is if you're absent. So what you're going to do is on your paper, you're going to write the verb, Molly hammered the final nail. Now, again, we have to ask ourselves, who or what are we talking about? The subject, Molly. And then we ask ourselves, what did Molly do? What was her action? She hammered. That's going to be the verb. And then you're going to put a comma, and then you're going to ask, what did she hammer? She hammered the nail. So that'll be the direct object. Um, there's going to be, for two through five, um, three of those are going to have direct objects. One of those is not going to have a direct object. So you're just going to put the verb... Um, and then just put the verb. You know, you're not going to do anything else. Then on this part, we're going to identify transitive, intransitive verb. An intransitive verb is one that doesn't have a direct object. So Sorry, just reading. Okay, so let's do number one together. Let's let's write down the verbs. Again, we're gonna we'll, we'll write these in class. I'm just doing Rex, lie down and relax. Lie is one of them because we don't know how he's gonna lie, where he's gonna lie, and relax is another. We don't, I can't spell. Oh. So, there's going to be one, two. Three, four, five. There's going to be, um, Besides what we did, there's going to be seven of these, and one of these is not going to have a trans and an intransitive verb. So you're going to write none in one of these sentences. And we're going to go to 16. We're going to talk about be verbs. Again, we have the um, verbs notes that we're going to talk about. We're going to watch a little brain pop, play a little Jeopardy. Again, a be verb, as we see on this, just show state of being. Again, we can't show the action to this. So, again, you're going to write this on your paper. Again, we're going to do one through five. We'll do number one together. What I've told you is a secret. Okay. So I see um, three of them here. Actually, one of these, um, again, we talk about what we're saying. Again, who are we talking about? I, what did I do? I have told. Again, you can't see told. We can hear somebody talking. So on your paper, what you're going to do is you're going to write, and I'll just put it, kind of in a text box right here. I'm going to put have told. 
with you is a secret. What are we talking about? We're talking about the secret. What? It's 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 hard to kind of explain. Again, these are just state of beings we have to know. So is is another verb. So we have one, two, three there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven more, so there are 10 on this one. And finally, we're going to talk about helping verbs. Again, a helping verb just helps create a verb phrase. Again, as we see the forms of B, we see the others. Again, with these notes, we will talk about in class sometimes. Uh, B verb can be a helping verb depending on how it's used. So what you're going to do on this, again, you're not going to underline. You're going to write these. We'll talk about this in class. So we're going to do one through five. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven on this. Let's do number one together. So we'll create a text box. Books do furnish a room. We ask ourselves, who or what are we talking about? We're talking about the books. What are the books? Um, what's their action? What's their state of being? Well, books furnish. How do we know they furnish? Because we see them around. So, but then we ask ourselves again, um, what about them? They do furnish. So we're going to put do furnish on our paper. So again, there's 11 here. There's 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So there's 11 here, 11 here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 15 and 22. So we got 37 verbs we'll work on. So again, we're not, this will be worth uh, I, they said there'd be no math, uh, 37. So this would be worth 18 and a half points. Again, we'll make these worth, um, half point a piece. If you have any questions, please message me at Schoolology or please raise your hand in class. Thank you very much. Pirates have a super sparkly day.